Hello everyone, so now I want to talk about uh, ZBrush navigation over here today. So uh, just click my PDF to ZBrush navigation. So alternate, right click and drag. You will be able to pan to navigate in ZBrush. Control, right click and drag. You'll be able to zoom on ZBrush. And if you just right click without pressing uh, any buttons on your left hand on your keyboard, you will just rotate around the object. Okay, so on our ZBrush here, we'll just uh, open up a cube. We'll go open up light box. Double click on this uh, cube object or any object. And uh, we'll be already in edit mode, so we can just navigate around right away. So alternate and right click. I'm able to pan around my cube. Okay, do practice this later. Okay, alternate and right click. Control and right click, I'll be able to zoom out. Zoom in. Alternate right, control right click and drag. View zoom in and out. Okay, if you zoom in too much, you can always press F, as I mentioned in the previous video, which is to frame your mesh. So control right click drag, press F. Control right click drag, zoom out, zoom in, press F. If I were to just right click without pressing anything, I would be able to rotate around the object. Okay, so it's pretty fun. It's a bit different from your other softwares, I believe, different from Maya, but uh, you get used to it very quickly. Uh, also, something useful to take note of is this uh, button on the top right corner is added in the 2020. It's pretty cool. So if I were to just uh, have a cube like this, last time we will never know which side is the front, which side is the back, but by having this model, small model as a visualization here. We know which is the front of the scene, you know, which is uh, X, Y, Z, and things like that. It actually makes a lot more sense. It's very handy. So we can also left click and drag on this face here. We can rotate it 45 degrees. If we left click on one of these arrows here, we will rotate 90 degrees. Okay, so it's very, very cool. Another way we can rotate 90 degrees is we if we just uh, rotate halfway, so if I just do a right click, right click, okay, and then uh, bef and then I'll just do like uh, maybe you know right now it's like rotating eighty five degrees, and I just hold shift, and it becomes ninety degrees. I'll just off perspective distortion so to be a bit more clear. So anytime you just rotate a little bit in that direction and you hold shift, and then let go. Hold shift and let go of your mouse. Rotate a little bit, hold shift, let go of your mouse. Rotate a little bit, hold shift, let go of your mouse. So I'll be able to snap quickly 90 degrees this way as well. So rotate, hold shift, 90 degrees. Rotate, and then when I almost reach that angle, more than 45 degrees, and I hold shift, you snap to that new angle. If I didn't hold shift before 45 degrees, you snap to an angle before. So go more than 45 degrees, snap, hold down shift, let go. Okay, so this one is also mentioned on my uh, PDF over here. So if you constrain to a 90 degree rotation, right click, drag, and then also hold shift. Okay, if you want to just constrain yourself, you can also do a shift, right click, release shift, and then drag. Uh, I don't really do this often. Shift, right click, release shift. So I guess you are just holding shift all the way. But I prefer to just rotate a little bit and hold shift. So you just rotate a little bit. Okay, notice that I'm using all right click navigation over here. And uh, actually you can do it with left click as well. But to be honest, left click is pretty dumb. So for example, if I because left click is all used on zoom or drawing already, or sculpting is our drawing. So when we sculpt, we use left click. So for example, if you were to sculpt halfway and then suddenly you feel like, oh, now I want to rotate, but my mouse cursor is on the object, and then you want to try to rotate. Jokes on you, you're sculpting. So uh, why do you do that? So if you want to rotate, just use right click. So the left click navigation has always been an inferior method for me. Um, 
I'm not sure why it was uh, also there, but uh, just know that it's also there. But uh, to me, this uh, right click navigation is always, always superior. Um, just because you don't want to mess up like your psychomoto when you're sculpting. Or your brain, small things like that. So when you are getting used to it, just get used to right click navigation. So when you're ro rotating, you're really rotating. You see, my mouse can be over my object and I'm still rotating very happily. I can do anything I want. So when I'm navigating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating. When I'm sculpting, I'm sculpting. Okay, so uh, probably after this uh, video ends, you want to spend a little bit of time to just practice, pan, zoom, and rotate on the keyboard just to get familiarized with this. And also on the top left hand corner, this is new as well. I believe it's the alpha of our object, the silhouette of our object. It's new in 2020. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.